My name is Crystal Delworth, and I'm a PhD candidate in molecular neuroscience at the California Institute of Technology. Today in the Fail Lab, we have Dr. Christopher Schmidt of the University of California, Los Angeles. Christopher is a postdoctoral scholar in primate behavior, evolution, and genomics, and he's a columnist for Nature. Sexual selection. Impressive displays by males are often used to attract the attention of females. When these displays are an honest indicator of genetic quality, then females can rely on them in order to choose the right male to get the most high quality offspring. This often leads to traits in a certain species like sexual dimorphism, and also really conspicuous display traits like a peacock's tail or a mandrel's colorful face. But because humans are not sexually dimorphic, Males and females don't look completely different. We rely on behaviors to demonstrate our genetic quality to potential mates. Let's look at an example. Yeah, go. Go, go. Go, go. As a primatologist, this is classic display behavior. You've got this adolescent male homo sapien lying in wait for the females to come by and then attempting this really kind of risky display. If he pulls this display off, this could be a great indicator of his quality as a potential mate. What's interesting that you mentioned risk, because risk assessment from a neuroscience perspective is an important part of development. I'd like to show you why. Won't you need your brain? The human brain develops back to front. This region here, the prefrontal cortex, is the last region to develop, and it's the one responsible for analyzing risk versus reward. So at this stage, our adolescent quite literally doesn't have a fully developed brain. The status he would gain by impressing the girls might seem like a worthwhile reward, but it's riskier than he thinks, because he hasn't practiced enough to know if he can pull off the trick. We often see this kind of behavior in adolescent male chimpanzees in the wild as well, where they kind of crash around and drag branches, and usually it's ignored by the other adults in the population. But this kind of behavior isn't actually useless, it's these males kind of practicing the skills that they'll need in order to assert their position in the adult hierarchy once they've grown. So in this case, this kind of display, even if it looks like a fail, isn't actually a fail because this male is practicing a skill that will help him out in the long run. And we see selection for this kind of practice and development in a whole lot of species. I agree, this is risky impulsive behavior and exactly what we want to see from an adolescent. As his neural connectivity improves, and with a little practice, he'll be able to land this trick and attract another mate. So our fail video is actually a big win. We want to know what you think. Is this a win or a fail? Also, we want you to show us other examples of physical stunts. So follow us on Facebook where the conversation continues. Many thanks to Dr. Schmidt. Thank you, Crystal. And thanks to all of you for stopping by. We'll be back next week with more science. But until then, when you just want a little connection, would you end up with a concussion? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You've got psychosis.